Come back, we're gonna talk about the top five Father's Day gift ideas from old Mid-10 Outdoors. What's going on everybody? Before we get into this video, I want you to let's take a moment to remember this Memorial Day weekend for all those that gave all in the service of our country. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. Okay, so I've got my top five Father's Day gift ideas that I want to bring to you real quick. And there will be a list down below for all of those items. So if you choose to purchase anything for dad, you go through my Amazon affiliate link and I'll get a little something, something and it doesn't charge you anymore. Okay, so number one. Number one thing I hate to take with me camping is a terry cloth towel for showering. I like shower, I like smell good. Um, but I don't like the terry cloth towel. I hate those things. Uh, and the reason for it being is they don't dry as quick and they don't dry as easy as what I'm about to show you. Uh, this is from Wise Owl Outfitters. This is their 30 by 60 towel. This is actually a towel set. It's not just one towel. There's actually two towels in here. So if you're a backpacker and you don't want to carry the big one, there's a smaller one that you could use for drying off with. So let me show you the small one first. And I will put the dimensions up on it right now of this. This is it. Uh, the cool thing about their towels is they have this little, I always pull it on the wrong end, snap thing here, ring, where you can hang it from something, you know, like a pole or something. And you hang it so it'll dry. And I will tell you, they dry really, really quickly. Um, I was impressed when I took them, took these things camping and hung, hung it up to dry that night. And they were dry before I went to bed, actually. But the big one is, I'll put the dimensions up on it. It's over, it's right at five foot tall. So it's a perfect bath drying off towel. It is a microfiber. I will put the weight of this towel right now you'll see that um so if you wanted to take something like this even backpacking it doesn't weigh very much at all um but it works really well and i know some people talk about the cleanliness of terry cloth when you're trying to dry off it's not that bad honestly it's not that bad i mean i dried off in no time at all with this towel and it didn't leave that damp feeling when I was done drying off. So I kind of like that aspect of it. And the fact that it's light. I mean, the little wash rag part, as big as it is, I mean, you might could dry yourself off of this if you took you a stream bath somewhere backpacking during the summer. You possibly could pull that off. Um, and then, then you can hang it off the back of your backpack and it dries your hiking or whatever. So that's item number one. Item number two is this little jewel right here. This is the Olight O bulb. Uh, I think it's 55 um, lumens, top lumen. Basically, doesn't come with this. This is an extra, but it's this little bulb right here. There's your first press hold it turns red hold it again starts flashing red hold it again and it's low that's its lowest setting hit it again it turns off now if you choose to buy the little ring like i did it's magnetic now that means also if you have something metal you wish to stick this on you can and it'll stick to it um i used this in the truck this past camping trip is my interior light because when I'm camping and stuff and in and out of the truck, you know how I have my setup, I turn the dome lights off so it's not running the battery down every time I open the door. So I hung this on a little clip right above the door where I keep my food and stuff and then I just reach up, push it on and I can see what I needed out of the, 
box, turn it off, and walk away. I really like these little lights. Um, it's very small. I will put the weight of it down below too because I know if, especially if you're looking at something like this for backpacking you'd like to know the weights of this kind of stuff in ounces so I will put that down below um, but it is on the affiliate link also but it's the old light bulb and I do have the link on there also if you want one of the links to go with the bulb item number three now, I don't have it in here with me it's still in the truck so I'll just roll in some B-roll of that particular item. But that is the Front Runner Wolfpack uh, box. Now you're probably wondering why is that like number three on the list as far as price goes. Well, they're only 30 bucks right now on Amazon. I highly recommend these boxes if you're looking for a storage solution for your vehicle. Now I do know these boxes are going away at some point. Jump on this $30 price to get one um, I use it for my kitchen box as you'll see in the b-roll that it's rolling right now but I, I just you can buy two or three of them and they stack together I mean 60 bucks 90 bucks for three of these boxes and they're very sturdy very strong they're not gonna I, I can't see a way of I mean without running over it a way of really breaking the thing if you use normal use um, so I, I highly recommend these front runner boxes I, they're just there's tough boxes and they're you know the price you can't beat it so number four item on my list is and this is why this is next is because these can get kind of expensive leatherman dear old dad will appreciate the fact you got him a leatherman um my biggest thing on leathermans is if they have the pocket clip on them that's I, I i'm not a big fan of wearing the sheath on my belt i'd rather just have the leatherman clipped in my pocket i won't carry a regular knife because i have the knife on me with especially the p free p <laughs> p4 free um it has regular flat blade there or you have your serrated blade here and don't go without a saw anywhere you have leatherman saw and if you know anything about leatherman saws these things are really a beast when it comes to a little bitty saw but all of your tools on the pre-free a peef oh my goodness i cannot say it this morning the leatherman free p4 that's a lot to say are on the outside so you don't actually have to open the tool to get to it the good thing is when you need to open that tool you can do it one-handed now they do have others that are pocket clip style of leatherman but the one i'm leaving down below is for this particular one i really love this tool this is this tool i've been carrying this over a year now i carry it every day to work everywhere camping all of it this one's in my pocket okay so for my fifth and final product for father's day now this is dad's been really good gazelle tent now once again i couldn't bring it in put it on camera because it's in the truck it's ready to go for the next trip but i will roll in some b-roll of the tent itself right now what would i like to say about the tent that i like so much i've had cold weather camping i ran a buddy heater in it before i went to bed and i run a buddy heater in it before i got up the next before i got out of the tent the next morning it warms up quick it was now granted it was only 30 degrees that morning but it it warmed the tent up really good to get changed get ready to get out of the tent and get started in cool weather cold weather i don't know how it's going to do in cold cold weather we will find out sometime this next winter summertime it breathes really good the biggest factor that has now got me really sold on this tent is waterproofness and the way it sheds water the windows if you keep them cracked and i may have it in there where you can see how i had them one night that's how i had them the whole day the day before and it came a rain shower i watched and when i say a rain shower it wasn't one of those you know 
light rain shower. This was a heavy, heavy downpour. And the rain was shooting off the tent the way it's supposed to. And not one time did I have a leak anywhere around those windows or around those doors. I know there's some questionable things about how the, the overlap is on their rain um, zippers, but I had no leaks. The floor was dry. We Ease of setup, even for my slow rear end, putting it up, it sets up really fast. And that's something you really want, especially if you're going to be moving the next day. You're only setting it up for the night. You want something that sits up quick and you're done. Um, so that's the other thing it's got going for it. Now, packability, it's not very small. It's five feet long. I did not realize once it was packed down how long it was. And I thought, as soon as I got home, I thought, oh no, is it going to fit in the bed of my truck? Just does. So if you have like a Nissan Titan that has a, what is a five, six bed, I mean, it, it lacks that six inches of hitting the tailgate when you shut the tailgate. So do know these things are long. These things are bulk, not really bulky, actually. They're, I mean, it's only that big around when it's closed up. So, I, I just, I can't see a why not on the Gazelle tent. It's pricey. You're going to get what you pay for, though. So, that's it on my top five Father's Day gifts. But I have a plus gift. Mid-10 Outdoors t-shirt. Link down below, Teespring. Pick any of the t-shirts I have. Right now, for Memorial Day weekend, I have a discount code on the website for 20% off your purchase. So go get your mid-10 outdoors t-shirt and your dad will be proud of it. But that's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. Remember this Memorial Day weekend. Think about the ones that never made it back. I appreciate you watching. See you on the next one. Be prepared.